Bentley is a dog. Bentley is a dog. Bentley is a dog. Dog, 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 dog. B to the E to the N T L E Y to the B to the E to the to the to the. Hit it, Bentley! All the time you turn around, doggies gather around, always looking at him up and down, looking at him. <gasps> What's that? Are you itchy? Hey guys, I'm head off to the gym. I did decide to keep a membership at Gold's Gym just because it's so cheap. So I'm gonna. I am like cycle between the gyms. So today I'm going to Gold's. And so I'll see you guys there early this time. Toss a couple million in the air just for the heck of it. But keep them fives, twenties, tens, and bends completely separate. Yeah, I be in a whole new tax bracket. We in recession, but let me take a crack at it. I haven't been to the pool all summer long, which is really sad. I need to like get a little darker, so I thought that I would go today and get it all to myself. They even like got new seats and stuff. I didn't even know. Driving off now to the aquarium store really quickly before it closes. I got my water containers here and I brought a water sample because I don't know why, but as I told you before, everything is pretty much dead, which I'm really sad about. It's making me feel really bad. And I tested my water and everything seems to be fine on my end, so I gotta ask them what's going on. <sighs> Buying some more seawater filling up here at the aquarium store. Look at all the coral pieces. Tiny dories. Yeah, these ultra zoanthids, ten dollars per polyp. This look like sunny delight. My display. like the, the best tank ever. Uh, okay, we figured it out. It was bryops. My had all that algae bryopsis growing, which means that the magnesium is actually really low, which also is causing all my LPS, such as my torch coral and everything to die, which is really unfortunate. So I have to raise my magnesium levels to like way above usual levels. So I guess I gotta do that gradually. At least we figured it out, so hopefully now the tank will recover. This stuff, that's Bryopsis. And this stuff right here. And look, my elegance coral's dead, and that one's pretty much dead too. That stuff growing on there, that stuff growing on there, it's everywhere. There, 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 over here. Because my magnesium's way too low, so. I'm gonna raise it to over 1500. I gotta do a water change. That'll be the fastest way to get it to raise up a little bit. And then I'll dose it with my magnesium. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. No, 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 no. Turn off the lights. Water change time. Yes! First try! I'm gonna do a relatively big water change. Okay, so about 45% water change here. Let's pour some more water inside now. Okay, there we go! Awesome! Now I'm gonna dose it with more magnesium. Thank god this turkey baster has a measurement on it. Hopefully this will help. I have to dose this every day apparently. So today for dinner, I'm just gonna make something that I used to make when I was uh, a while ago, which is super cheap too. Just fried hot dogs cut up and with rice and cabbage here. I'm gonna do all of them so I can just microwave them later on. <laughs> super easy, it's like such a college grad meal here. So melt in the butter, boil in some water here, making the rice. Okay, so I cut the hot dogs in a diagonal like this. The reason for that is that 
it increases the surface area that the hot dog gets fried on so it cooks a lot faster. Water is boiling, let's put in nap cabbage here. Let's put it in for a really short amount of time here. Yeah. Okay, ready? Hot dogs go on. Now all the hot dogs go. And I think this is ready. Done. Them over here. If it's a little bit undercooked, it's okay because it's hot enough that it's called carry over cooking, where you just take it out and I'll keep cooking because it's really hot. Look at this rice. Mm. Here's a cabbage. Here's the hot dogs cooking. Mm. And done. Awesome. There we go. This is what I'm having for today. This one's saving for tomorrow. I have some rice over here saved. Ponzu sauce. For the cabbage here, dipping sauce of the cabbage so it doesn't just taste like plain boiled cabbage. And now we're in business. And I'm gonna watch some G.I. Joe retaliation. I'll see you guys afterwards. Hey guys, I just finished watching G.I. Joe retaliation and here's my quick review on it. I didn't like it. You know what, to be totally honest, I did kind of like the first one. I thought it was really bad, but I did enjoy it. I felt like this one took all the fun out of what the first one was. There was like almost no reason to have all these different characters and I just felt like the action was just like meh. Channing Tatum is kind of in the movie, <laughs> but pretty much it's a totally new cast. They're trying to reboot the whole franchise since pretty much everybody left. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I actually really like him a lot. <laughs> He's. I think he's a pretty good actor, and he doesn't take himself too seriously, so I thought he did an uh, okay job here. I just was a little disappointed at the fact that the movie felt very fragmented into three storylines, none of which were compelling at all. I liked Olympus Has Fallen a lot more than this. So my final review for G.I. Joe Retaliation out of four stars would be two stars. Anyway guys, I'm getting ready to go to bed, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. This place isn't totally new. The Apex, let's try that out. Okay, I just finished shooting at the Apex. I don't think I can film while I'm like <laughs> going through these because it's gonna be too difficult. Anyway, I'm gonna try driving, checking out this one. This one's pretty nice because it's totally new. I'm just like thinking, whenever I go 